Well, hello everyone. Dan Herr with Dan Herr Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. I am back here on the Fraser River. Today, we are looking for jade. Not just regular jade, we're looking for a piece of high quality jade. Today, as well as finding good jade, I'm gonna talk about how you identify jade, what I've learned along the way, how I learned along the way, a growth mindset, and explain how I may have been wrong with some things in the past. So wish me luck, and I hope you enjoy. Now this is my jade claim. Along that bar right there, I found many pieces of Fraser River nephrite, also known as jade. I have also found a lot of materials that were serpentine and things that were questionable whether it was jade or not. Today, I'm looking for those pieces that I am sure, or fairly sure, are jade. Let's go for a walk. Now, while I look here, let me explain some of the basics about jade. Jade is not a mineral name. Jade is actually a cultural name for a couple of minerals. There are two main minerals that are most often called jade. One is nephrite, and that's what we find here on the Fraser River, nephrite jade. The other is jadeite. Jadeite and nephrite are both mineral names. Jade is more of a cultural name for those minerals. Oh look, serpentine. Serpentine is typically not called jade. Here's a piece of what's known as mutton fat jade. So it is a white jade, usually oxidized on the surface, and it's actually not nephrite or jadeite, it's a different mineral. But they still call it jade because it has the same properties. It's very hard, extremely tough, and translucent. Mutton fat jade. But that's not what we're looking for today. Now there are other minerals along the way that have got the name jade for different reasons. Most often it's because of their properties. Because the properties of jadeite and nephrite are actually very, very similar. They're both extremely tough. In fact, the toughest rocks around. And very hard, very dense and translucent. Not always, but most often translucent. Color, jade can actually come in any color of the rainbow. Here on the Fraser, it's usually a bright green to a dark green, sometimes going right black. Typically when I walk this bar to find my uh, jade, I follow down low where the muddy rocks stop and the clean rocks start. But I figured because I've walked there so many times, this time I'm gonna try way up at the top. I'm gonna walk way down the bar up top here and see if there's anything that maybe I missed over the years because I was always down there. That's my thought. Oh, look, serpentine. Now I'm gonna talk in this video a lot more about serpentine, why we call it the precursor to jade. Serpentine is a green rock that is translucent but it is not hard like jade, it's a softer rock, and it's not dense like jade, it's a lighter rock. And typically these serpentine rocks are dull on the surface, or like powdery on the surface, and often yellow or orange. And they're powdery because it's a softer rock, it erodes easier, and it's yellow or orange on the surface because they're very high in iron, and the iron will rust out basically, oxidize out where if it was a piece of jade, it would be shiny because it's hard and erodes different and not as much free iron in it to rust. And not all serpentine rocks are rusty on the surface. Some of them don't have the free iron in them and will stay green. This one is rusty on the surface actually. It's just a broken surface that shows the green inside. But some of them are just a powdery green. Some of them are a rough, dark green. There's all sorts of different looks to serpentine. All sorts of different looks. Let's find a piece of nephrite to show you. Big rock of serpentine. As it rusts on the surface, it uh, collects up dirt and stuff and sticks it to the surface. That's a big serpentine rock. Nephrite, we need nephrite. Find nephrite. And I should say that serpentine's everywhere. Serpentine, serpentine, serpentine. It's all over the place. Now there's our first piece of maybe. Ah, I'll look at it for a second. Yes, I know the river's right there. Now this is a piece that we would probably call gem serpentine, 
or very low quality nephrite. It's very powdery on the surface, so I'm guessing that's a gem serpentine, a very, very hard, very beautiful translucent serpentine that's not quite gone to the point where it's formed into jade. And I'm gonna explain that forming into jade in a second too. That's something I really wanna emphasize in this video, how I've oversimplified in my previous videos how jade is formed. Here's another piece up here. That's a nicer piece. That one's harder to just tell by the look on the surface. But there's a piece, again, either serpentine or nephrite. Oh, you can hear that bottom piece. It's very dull sounding thud. It means it's soft. That's definitely serpentine. That's a harder sound. That's a nice looking piece. Yes, I lick rocks. I know there's a river right there. I could walk all the way down to the river and then walk all the way back up here just to get the rock wet or I can lick it. And that is a nice enough one to go in the backpack. It deserves a cut and a test later on. Nice translucency. You can see it right on the surface. This one, too soft, it goes back. Oh man, I was dealing with those two rocks there. As I stood up, this guy caught my eye. <laughs> wow. There's a beast. Gem serpentine, but a beast. Mutton fat. Here is an interesting one. It sounds unbelievably hard as it pings, but it's got a very weathered surface. And it's a light green, not a dark green. Oh, there's a piece of serpentine down below it. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that might even be, ooh. Ooh, we'll set that aside for later. That might be jade inside. It sounds right. Sounds really right. That is a hard rock. And there's a great little palm stone. Great little palm stone of nephrite. Very hard. Very, very hard. Very translucent. Shiny surface. This one intrigues me so much it has to go in. Often with jades, they develop a rind or a skin on the outside as it weathers. And this one sounds so, so unbelievably hard, but it's got a thick, thick rind and it's a very pale green. That might be neat to cut, but it's a heavy rock and I'm already a long ways away from home. Whoa, look at that rock. It is crazy. That is a neat thing about being on the Fraser River is you get everything under the sun. You can find anything on the Fraser River because it's such a big river and it goes through such a diverse set body of rocks throughout the province. Like it's crazy. You can get anything and that is bizarre. Well, I haven't found that one piece I want to find yet. I'm still looking for that one, you know, extremely high quality nephrite, that wow stone. But while I look, let me explain a little bit about how I learned the little bit I know about jade. When I started getting into rocks and gems big time, I had a mentor. His name was Dave. Of course, as a kid, I was really into rocks. Every, every little boy is. But later on in life, when I really started getting into rocks and gems, I ended up getting a mentor. His name was Dave. Now, Dave, unfortunately, has passed away. He is no longer with us. Very, very sad. Really knowledgeable guy. Dave was a trained and certified gemologist. He knew his rocks. He was an expert. And he's the one that taught me about Fraser River nephrite. The number one rule he said is that serpentine on the Fraser looks like nephrite. You can't visually tell the two apart. So the only way to tell the two apart is to get a fresh cut and scrape it with your pocket knife. If it scrapes, if it scratches, it's serpentine. If your pocket knife just rubs off the surface, it's nephrite. And he said the Fraser River is loaded with low quality nephrite. It's everywhere. That was the one rule he told me. I trust Dave. Dave knows his stuff. Dave was awesome. I actually owe a lot of my career to my buddy Dave. Now, unfortunately, Dave passed away before I started my career of looking for Jade. So I was never able to bring him out here and have him show me the ropes in the field. Jade. <laughs> other than what he told me. So when I came out here starting to look for jade, I just did what he said. I grabbed everything that I thought looked like it 
and then took them home, gave it a fresh cut and a scratch. Anything that didn't scratch, I said, was jade, was nephrite. Well, a lot of people online said I was wrong. Said, you're just finding serpentine, it's not jade. I trust my buddy Dave, but I don't necessarily trust random people commenting online. So I just brushed it off. Look, serpentine. But after enough people who declared themselves experts told me that I have to check its specific gravity as well as its hardness, there was enough people that said that, I thought, let's do it. And I started checking the pieces of jade, specific gravity, as well as its hardness. And I did find that some of those pieces of jade that wouldn't scratch with a knife were coming in slightly too light. The density of nephrite and the density of serpentine are close, but actually quite a bit different. Some of those were falling in the gap between. When I asked someone in the know about that, they said, those are the ones we call gem serpentine. They are almost jade, but not quite. Now this is the point I should point out that I am completely self-taught. I have no formal training in geology or mineralogy or anything. Everything I know comes from talking with people like Dave. I will admit, I have gaps in my knowledge. I have wrong things in my knowledge. I don't know at all. And I hope on my videos, I have been very clear about that, that I am learning. I'm trying to use a growth mindset where I take everything I know and use it, but along the way, if I find anything wrong or anything I need more information on, I strive to find out and increase my knowledge, make myself smarter along the way. And of course, I don't know it all, but I'm doing the best I can with the knowledge I have. Never stop learning, always continue learning. You never know it all. So I refined my knowledge of jade along the way. Now I know it doesn't have to only be hard, it needs to be heavy. And now anything that's hard and heavy, I call jade. But there's still a lot of people out there that say, Dan, that's not jade. Some people will say that's just low quality nephrite. Well, if it's nephrite at all, it is jade, no matter what the quality is. Some people say it's not jade, it's not nephrite at all. So again, never stop learning. I went back and started looking things up to try to figure it out. Ooh, look at that. That's a nice looking chunk. Ah, as I fall down the hill right there there is a piece oh, of beautiful nephrite let me lick it ah. oh baby oh baby that's nice in my subsequent research i did find an article and i can't find it right now to give it to you but i did find an article that talked about the formation of nephrite where the magnetite and chromite inclusions stay big and don't absorb in and they gave it a mineral name it's a nephrite sort of matrix around these inclusions or this matrix of inclusions i hope when i go back to edit this video i can go and find that mineral name and leave it here on the screen uh, but that is often what we're finding on the fraser river i just found a great example of it this rock here has the very very hard nephrite all around most likely nephrite with these big inclusions that have rotted away. Here's the great piece I found just a second ago where all the inclusions have absorbed into the nephrite and it's actually nice and hard and uniform, where here's one that the inclusions all separated out into their own little nodules with the hard material, hard green material flowing around it. And when this weathers, it leaves these pockets of the chromite and magnetite weathering out with a hard, hard nephrite in a matrix around it. Or possibly serpentine. Again, I'm not quite sure because it is such, it's out there. It's, the information is hard to understand. But the one article I read said it was a nephrite going around these inclusions and it left this name. I'm hoping I can find it for you. But that is a very hard rock. I can tell by tapping it. The sound of it, it's a very hard rock. It's translucent green. I can feel the weight of it. Weighs a ton. I would call that a low quality jade. Obviously we have to cut it and test it for hardness, but that is a jade with big inclusions of chromite or probably magnetite in this one because you can see the rust. I believe that's what it is. 
And the naysayers out there are saying, if it's got inclusions, it's serpentine, it's not jade. But I know for a fact, jade still has inclusions. They're usually just smaller and absorbed into the jade, so they're solid. Like that, versus that. And I have said in many of my videos that these uh, low quality nephrites or the gem serpentines are just serpentine that hasn't been baked enough to make it full blown jade. Well, that is an extreme oversimplification. I try to keep my videos easy to understand so I don't get into the really hard chemistry and geology of some of these things. So I do simplify things like just saying jade is baked serpentine. To get really into that, it's actually a metamorphic process way down deep over millions of years under high heat, high pressure, two different minerals start transitioning ions or transitioning their chemical structure between the two of them. One of them is usually serpentine, sometimes it's dolomite. One of them is usually serpentine and they are, are being baked under huge pressure that transforms the molecular structure from the serpentine and ultramafic rocks and mafic rocks into the jade and that's what i've simplified into just saying the baked serpentine but what it is is that serpentine in conjunction with another rock it's touching are transitioning are exchanging molecules exchanging elements to make the I believe the pyroxene, original pyroxene, into an amphibole. Amphibole? Is that how you say that? Amphibole, I think. It changes the mineral itself from serpentine to jade. Simplified. And now I'm positive I'm getting too complicated for a YouTube video. So let's just go find some jade. And yes, I know, sometimes I get overly excited. One of my goals of my videos is to get my followers, my viewers, to get excited about finding nature's treasures. And if I get overly excited about finding a piece of serpentine that I think might be jade, that's because I want others to get out here, get doing this hobby, having fun, finding treasures, getting out and enjoying life. So yeah, sometimes I get overly excited about finding something that I think is better than it might be. A little jade palm stone. <laughs> Ha-ha! Another jade palm stone! And another great palm stone. Ugh. Ooh, she's a dark jade. Dries out quick, quickly out here. This area of small rocks is just rich in them. Let's look at it. Oh, look at the green. There are little stones everywhere. Let's find a big one. There is a beast of a piece of serpentine. I can tell by the powdery surface it's not a hard stone. That's that uh, nephrite precursor in the right conditions along with the other rock with high pressures, high heat, and a lot of movement of ions that could turn into jade. Here's a nice looking chunk. Mm. Also found this one a second ago. It's very blue looking. But you like it, and oh, it is translucent. It's a funny green. Powdery on the surface though, so I'll be interested to see what that will scratch out to be. But because it's small, I'll toss it in. And as I learn more and get less excitable on the river, because I'm getting more used to finding this stuff, if you go back in my videos, the first video is like, Jade, 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 Jade. The next one is Jade, Jade, maybe Serpentine, maybe, uh, I don't know. Then the next one, it was like, Oh, these are probably gem serpentine. Oh, there's a jade. And you know, as I go through my videos, I get more and more selective of what I call jade and try to get more and more precise saying that a lot of these rocks are a gem serpentine. I do, I, I am capable of learning, despite what my wife says. That's interesting up there. There's a very, very dark, oh, can't find my step, get up the hill. A very dark rock that looks different from the rest. Oh, really light. <laughs> that is not jade. That's probably a piece of serpentine. Very light. And there's one right there. Really nice greens in it. Sounds hard. Beautiful green. That's definitely that rock with what's probably nephrite surrounding big inclusions of magnetite or chromite. Probably magnetite, it's rusted. Let's get the closer up, the closer up camera on that green. Very nice. Mutton fat G. And there it is. An amazing piece of jade. Can you hear that on camera? It pings like glass. 
you know that is freaking hard. Nice. Very nice piece of nephrite. And I know that's nephrite. I can I can hear the glass ping to it, meaning that it is very hard. It's very heavy. I can't even pick that up with one hand. It may still have small inclusions in it, but that is for sure nephrite. All of my knowledge, everything that I've learned tells me that that is nephrite. And that is serpentine. And for those people who will not believe I found nephrite no matter what, they say the only way you can prove to us that you've actually found nephrite is to send it off to a lab to get tested. Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Now, I'm not gonna send off the whole rock. I'm gonna take that home. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna show you what it looks like, the translucency. I'll test the hardness, test the density, all that. And then I'll take a small chunk of it, send it off to the lab and have them test it to see what the chemical makeup is to see if it's actually nephrite. That will be the deciding factor 100%. If it comes back as nephrite, the naysayers out there just can't say nay anymore. And typical rock hounder in me, instead of walking it back to the backpack right now, I just making a stack of it here and I continue looking for more. My backpack is about half a kilometer back. That is about as much of a rock as I want to carry back that distance. And yet I continue looking for more. <laughs> I've got a problem. And I made a stack like that so that when I walk back along the bar, I can find where my rock is very easily. Ooh, what's that? Nice serpentine. Nice nephrite. Beautiful nephrite. That is green. Wow. Sounds hard. Nice. Can't carry that one back though. The other one. That one's nice. The other one is perfect. Taking the perfect, not the nice. Though that is very nice. I have so many rocks in my pockets, my pants are falling down. That looks like a big nephrite boulder up there. See how shiny it is? Nope. Just a mafic rock. You can tell by the swirls in it. Look how shiny that one is. Nope. This is an exciting one. This is a piece of black jade. So jade that is such a dark green. You know, if you cut it real thin and pass light through it, it would show a forest green, but it's such a dark, dark, dark green that we call it black jade. And you can see how shiny it is. That's because black jade is so freaking hard, it's ridiculous. And when other rocks and sand rub against it in the river, in the flow of the river, it polishes right up. That is a beautiful chunk of black jade. I want to take that with me. However, I've got a beautiful junk, chunk of green jade over there too. And this light green one too. I want it all. And my backpack's full and three quarters of a kilometer away. What a beautiful evening on the river. Sun's gonna go behind the mountain in about half an hour and it'll finally cool off a bit. But I got a long walk back. Long, long walk back with a lot of weight. Oh, but I want that. And yet another cairn of rocks for me to pick one up on the way back. Oh, where's a helicopter when you need it? <laughs> Not a chance to be left in that puppy out. Or how about that one? That one I could lift if I had to. Ooh, what about that guy? Nope, ultra mafic. They're everywhere here. Ooh, there's a chunk. Look how pretty that is. Now that one fooled me. I got so excited for a little bit, but that's a mafic rock, not a piece of jade. It's a lookalike. It's the mock jade. It's the one that fools ya. Oh, I got excited. Piece of Fraser River nephrite. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. like glass. So there goes the sun behind the mountain. The shade is coming. This is where I'm gonna turn around and walk back. I am a kilometer away from the truck. I own two cells along here. So each cell is a half a kilometer. I've come to the end of my cells. I'm gonna turn around and walk back, collecting those pieces I left along the way, but also looking a little bit down the bar and see if I can do a path all the way down. I started up here all the way this way. We'll go back down there but look a huge chunk that's how i knew i had to turn around there's a huge chunk here cool check out that rock you gotta wonder how a rock can break like that <laughs> bizarre one side to the other 
is split in slabs with material jammed in it. Ho, 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 I just found the rock. I know I have over there the rock, and I have over there the rock, and I think I even have up there the rock. This is the rock. That is solid, dense. Beautiful nephrite. Of all the rocks so far, this is the rock that is coming back with me. I might take some of the others too. <laughs> but of course, I have to carry this in my hands now because my backpack is way over there. All the way back to the backpack. And then in the backpack, all the way up to the truck. And the backpack is already probably too full to lift. Damn it. <clears throat> I'd love to send a piece of this one and a piece of the one back in my backpack away for testing. But unfortunately, testing costs like $100. And that gets expensive quick. I don't know which one I'll send. Now I run the risk of finding another. <laughs> and I wouldn't be able to take both. What a tragedy that would be. I'd have to come back tomorrow. It is really hard walking on these slopes. Big chunk of mutton fat. Mutton fat is always big chunks for some reason. Oh, I see my first little Karen. That's my black nephrite I have to take along with the other two rocks that I'm carrying. Plus the next Karen, which is a big rock that I have to take. <laughs> Had to put down the rocks and take a break. <sighs> but let's admire the blue jade. Oh, very glassy sounding. The black jade and the green jade. And that is probably the best rock of the year. Best rock of the year, for sure. Wow. Well, I might as well take another break. I did pick up another one and it's nice. But then I saw that. <laughs> Anyone want a thousand pound chunk of jade? I know where one is. Okay, it's probably not a thousand pounds, it's probably 500 doesn't matter I'm not lifting it oh Duh. oh where's the helicopter I will take note of this spot for sure I've lost my other Karen should be right there oh there it is way over there I'm not quite there yet but what a rock I don't know if I can make it I have to put them all down again and I don't know where my backpack is I haven't seen it yet I did leave the second Karen, or the first Karen, as the case may be. I couldn't carry anymore. Too many for sure rocks. Not enough for sure muscles. Where's my backpack? Well, it was probably the wrong decision, but I abandoned the rocks back there, came over to get the very, very heavy backpack to carry it back to the rocks, to load the rocks in to make it really, really heavy, and then come back this way. Ow. I say I'm capable of learning, but that's one thing I don't seem to learn. When to say enough is enough, I emptied all the heavy rocks out of the backpack over there. So over here to load up, then I'll go back over there and load up. I don't know, where are they? Right there. Oh, that's heavy. Well, that piece of maybe will have to wait for another day. I can't throw a maybe in when I have all my must-haves in and I can hardly lift that thing. And I still have a quarter kilometer to walk on very unstable terrain. Well, darn it! Look at that beast! <laughs> Beauty! Not getting in my backpack, that's for damn sure. And down goes Dan! It was a fairly softball. Water break time. Unfortunately, the water's in the backpack. I don't think I want to take off my backpack. Well, I made it back to the truck with a ridiculously heavy backpack. I can't believe I did that. And now I'm gonna complain for the next month that my back hurts. And it was hurting before I even started that. I listed too much ocean picture stone yesterday. <laughs> I'll never learn. Okay, so I'm gonna wait till tomorrow when the sun's out. I'm gonna lay out all those rocks, get them wet and show you what I got. Then I'll take some home, cut them, show you what's on the inside. Then I'm taking that little piece of that one beautiful rock, send it off to the lab to get tested to see if, yes, in fact, you can find Jade on the Fraser River. Well, unfortunately, the sun's not out proper right now to get a really good look at how green these are. In this dim, overcast sky, they look black. But when I cut them and put a light on them, you'll really know. Well, let's look at some of these rocks cut open. When I was testing them, I did find about three rocks that were for sure serpentine. No question about it. Also had two ultramafic rocks that passed no light. But we ended up with a bunch of great pieces 
of this material, which I believe, in my opinion, is nephrite. Its hardness is above six. Its density is three. It is translucent. It pings like glass. And it's beautiful. However, the one thing that tells me it might not be is the fact it has inclusions. But again, I did find one article that said there are some nephrites with these big magnetite and chromite inclusions and it's still nephrite. I went back and looked and I never could find that article that gave the mineral name it called it. But there is something out there that is still nephrite with big inclusions. Let's get the light behind a few of these and have a look at the light going through. So I've got my big bright light here, not shining at the camera, shining perpendicular to the camera so that I can take the nephrite, put it in front of the jade, the serpentine, whatever it might be, and have the light show how translucent it is. Beautiful. And this one this is a darker one. Yeah, this is a this is a weird one. I think this one was actually soft. I think this is a serpent. This one I was able to scratch. Beautiful stuff. And we won't talk about the cut job on that one. <laughs> Oops. This guy here was that big yellow rock because you can see the skin, the outer rind that was yellow, but inside is still a beautiful dark green. And listen to the sound it makes when you tap it. Sounds like glass. And that's a thin, thin slab and I can hit it hard with a rock and it doesn't break. It is tough. Now I had decided to send three different pieces off to the lab to be tested. I was gonna send this guy, I was gonna send a piece of this one, and I was going to send a piece of this one. I was gonna bite the bullet and send three. Yeah, they cost about a hundred bucks a pop to send in, but I was gonna make sure we could get a good cross section of the different types of material from the Fraser sent off to the lab. But the lab just got back to me and said they don't test raw jade, only finished pieces of jade. So I'm gonna have to find myself a new lab to get these things tested at. I will find one, check back on my channel in the future, and hopefully I will have those results. Hope you enjoyed that video. Please leave me that thumbs up if you liked it. If I haven't earned your subscription yet, I hope I earned it today. And a big thanks to everyone, especially my patrons. Hope you're all having a great day. Until the next one, bye.